Niaje karibu leo tena kwenye Kai na Koyo. Mimi naitwa Caleb Koyo. Yeye yeah, anaitwa presenter Kai one of a kind na one more time tumerudi na story zako zote kubwa za entertainment wiki hii. Na tunaanza huko kwenye HQ ya Konde Music Worldwide kumuongelea mjeshi mwenyewe Harmonize. Harmonize. Yeah. Tembo. Tembo. Jamaa tulina wanawake kabisa huyo. Napendi kutulia. Uh, alikuwa Uh, tukiwataja utakuwa wengi atakuwa wengi lakini the recent one sasa hivi alikuwa anaitwa Pochi ni Pochi ama Pochi Pochi Queen Pochi Queen sana mrembo sana mrembo yeah, big Na machine big machine. big machine kama ambavyo venye ye mwenyewe harmonize anaita big machine yeah. lakini bado ni kama hawapo tena pamoja yeah, yeah. na harmonize kwa sasa hivi mm. Ziko story ambazo ziko mtaani kwamba Harmonize ashaachana na Poshi Queen. Yep. Na amerudi kwa aliyekuwa ex immediate ex ambaye pia alipropose. Ya. Kubali ya Rusi na vitu kama hivyo. Inadaiwa kwamba amerudi kwa yeah. Yule yule Kajala. Kajala one. Kajala one. Nimeona <laughs> nimeona Mwijaku. Unajua Mwijaku yeah. anakuwa mtu wake wa karibu sana Harmonize. Sana sana, sana sana. Na ukitaka kujua kitu chochote yeah. ama ukitaka kuanza kushuku. Yeah basi anza kuangalia post za mwijangu utakuta kuna ka ukweli kuna ka ukweli fulani yeah. unajua huwa anaitwa kama joke fulani hivi yeah. kwa sababu kama siku moja imepita yeah. uh, mwijangu aliposti pale kwenye Instagram akasema okay. nakupenda sana alafu akamtag pale Kajala af, yeah. uh, Kajala Frida alafu akaongeza akasema kwamba asante sana busara zako na maneno mazito ulionihusia mm. umeniambia nipunguze kielele Asante shemeji yangu mpendo I love you. <laughs> si unaona na unakuta ni it's very rare ya kwamba ulikuwa upate mwijako amempost yeah. kipindi na kile walikuwa wametangaza kwamba hawako pamoja Hawako na harmonize. Mm. Si unajua huyu ni kibaraka. Yeah for sure. Nafikiri kuna kuna kwa kibaraka cha harmonize. Yeah. Mm. I think I think I think ni kweli ya harmonize ame kuna uwezekano amerudia na Kajala. Okay. Sababu kuna vitu vingi sana kai ukifuatilia vizuri the time harmonize alikuwa na Kajala yep. na alikuwa anafanya vizuri sana kimuziki. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hata movements mashows ilikuwa nyingi sana za nje ambazo mm. kazi alikuwa anapiga vizuri. Alikuwa poa, kajala ndo alikuwa manager wake at that time. Mm. Yeah, manager yeah, wa, wa, wa Konde Music. Wa Konde Music. All that. Yeah. So nafikiri ukiwa na mwanamke ambaye anajua industry mm-hmm. Akupendi tu lakini pia of course uh, anajua kabisa tuna, tunafanyaje show yeye mm-hmm. mwenyewe amekuwa kwa industry long time alimtambulia yeah, 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 kwenye yeah, game yeah. unajua amekuwa kitambo cha bongo movies yeah, yeah. kajala alikuwa kitamba sana na wakati ule mpaka sasa hivi bado bado anafanya vizuri so nafikiri the best relationship kwa harmonize mm-hmm. ni kajala kajana huyo ndo mwanamke bora sana lakini pia Idris Idris anaitwa Idris Sultan yeah, amepost pia naye akasema kwamba yeah. it's too all for you to fall in love <laughs> to, fo, to falilo <laughs> ameweka kimajazi kidogo yeah. akasema kama it's too all for you to falilo and i'm caught i'm nice alafu, alafu unajua akaweka akaweka pale akatumia wimbo wake <laughs> harmonize single ile single, single again <laughs> lakini pia unajua harmonize alikuwa amepost yeah, yeah, yeah. alikuwa amepost kwa insta bado yeah. na akasema kwamba ni muda mchache tu leo yeah, tu amepost sure. pale akasema someone recommend for me Yeah. I can't take this single life <laughs> either surgery or god med. Yeah. Machine is a machine. Lazima iwe machine. Mm. Haijalishi imetoka. Lakini lakini hii ni kumaanisha kwamba anatoka kwa push anaenda kwa machine bado. Ambao machine ni ile ile. Size ni ile ile. Anarudi kule kule. Anafaa honestly mi mimi naweza mpongeza sana mjeshi kwa kurudi kwa Kajala because honestly I saw movements ambazo alikuwa nazo zilikuwa kubwa. Kipindikile. Kama naweza alikuwa machua sana wakati okay. alikuwa na Kajala. Uh-huh. Hata hii kizungu ambao anaongea sasa hizi imetoka kwa Kajala. Alijifunza ali that time. Okay. Walipata pressure ya kuifanya. Mm. Mashows walikuwa nafanya pamoja. Mm-hmm. Bookings zilikuwa zinafanya straight kwa Kajala. Mm-hmm. Every show ambao walikuwa nafanya uh, mm-hmm. tours za nje walikuwa mm-hmm. na Kajala all the time. Unakumbuka unakumbuka Pastor Mambo alikuwa anasema kwamba any man ambaye anaoa anapata yeah. favor. For sure. So I think nyota ya harmonize iko pale kwa Kajala. Kwa hivyo arudi arudi tu mzima mzima na si tufiche. Yes ndio hiyo sasa. Utafurahia kama one of the fans ya kwamba uh, asharudi kwa shimshem pale. Nita enjoy sana. Uh-huh. Kwanza watu wengi nyingine walitoa nitakubeba. Harmonize uh-huh. unajua ametoa ngoma kwa, kwa for, for every ex girlfriend. 
kwa ki, kwa kila kila demo ametolewa ngoma yeah. anamtolea ngoma Irene Woya alitolewa sijui niambie or something mm-hmm. Sara alitolewa bado kwa ipi yake Afro Afrobongo ilikuwa mm-hmm. uh, Kajala alifanya ne nitaubeba Posh yeah. Queen ashaimbwa mm-hmm. mara mingi tu mm-hmm. so nafikiri ile ambayo ili stand out kulingana yeah. na mafanikio ambayo alipata wakati uh, yuko kwenye that relationship yeah. of course ni nitaubeba ni ya Kajala lakini pia unaku, unaona pia uh, kwa upande fulani vihamu naweza nakoa kitoa hit kali kali zaidi yeah. anatoa miziki mizuri lakini pia akimba kwa mapenzi hasa akiwa kwenye heartbreak harmonize anaimba mm. ngoma zingine kali kali yeah. harmonize uh, inaweza mfananisha na jamaa fulani nchini Kenya yeah. uh, Otile Brown Obizi Obizi uh, pia akikuwa kwenye heartbreak <laughs> anatoa miziki mikali mikali sana unajua heartbreak inaweza ikajenga mwanaume ama imvunje okay na kama wewe ni creative basi inakujenga inakujenga oh, na sio tu kwa msanii sio tu wana mziki pekee ambao wanaimba aha uh-huh. creatives wengine ambao wanachora wana, mm-hmm. wana dance mm-hmm. utakuta wanatoa vitu kali kali ama wanafanya kwa comedy wana comedy, act eh, so wana babu, create story from that eh, ukiachwa mm-hmm. moment zako zote unataka kitu ambao inakutoa akili kwa yeah. so utaweka kwa hii muzika ambao unafanya kwa hii mm-hmm. football ambao uh, ambao unacheza na yeah, huh. output always iko very very good i'm not saying kwamba Tukue heartbroken sisi sore ndo tufanye. Eh hey, wadada watatuumiza sana. <laughs> Lakini pia turudi Kenya. Yeah, yeah. Tuko na DK kwenye beat. Asusu asusu. <laughs> asusu. <laughs> Jamaa nimeona kwamba amepost picha yeah. amenyoa. Ametoa zile rasta ambazo yeah. alikuwa nazo. Trademark zile yani long yeah, time. Yeah, trademark yake. Mm, mm. Unafikiria kitrademark ilikuwa rasta ama kitumbo? Ta kitambi. Uh, I think ilikuwa akidance. Bwana alikuwa akidance aki, aki anatingisha tu. <laughs> yeah, Design yake fulani hivi. Hapo nimechange nime, nime change opinion. Haikuwa rasta ilikuwa kitambi. Kwa kitambi. Kwa kitambi. Kwa sababu ilikuwa kisika dike kwenye bita na kama mtaa. Yeah. Wanataka kuona kile kitambi. Na alikuwa amekubali. Amekubali. Hakuwa ha, naiona kama ni body shaming or anything. Ja alikuwa amekubali yeah. kwamba this is me. So amenyoa. Kwa nini unafikiri dike amenyoa mzee wangu? Unajua mwanaume akinyoa kuna kuna reasons ambazo zinafanya mwanaume anyue. Yeah, kuna kuwa na reasons nyingi. Uh, maybe pia ina, ina, inaweza kuwa health wise. For sure, yeah. Uh, inaweza kuwa health wise labda mm. alikuja akapata shida kidogo alafu yeah. uh, madaktari akamwambia bro, health. what? Unajua health ukiongelea health na dike kwenye beat, mm. tunaweza tukafungua <laughs> files za <laughs> ile kesi yake na hope kid. <laughs> so maybe daktari alimwambia kwamba bro, inabidi upunguze hizi. Toa hizi rasta. I think it looks good though. Very. I think it looks good. Size I think maintain that bro. Uh, DK kwenye beat tu maybe hata yeah, yeah, corporate m- m- maybe kuna gig flani kubwa actually maybe hata inaweza kuwa kuna gig flani hivi alikosa yeah. kwa sababu ya rasta yeah. eh, alifika pale akambo eh bro hataki mm. otoma rasta hapa Ama so go and shave go and shave ikawa ni too late afu <laughs> akawa amekosa gig ya domob ama pia anaweza kuwa alikuwa ameitwa maybe kuperform mali yeah. kufika kule labda akaambiwa unaimba gospel bro yeah. with the rasta man you have to shave man shave. maybe kwa nenda tu ama mm. maybe wife amemwambia ame usiku unajua sometimes yeah, tunachana yeah. kama utanyoa wasichana wako na wako na tabia <laughs> fulani hivi ya kuambia unaume vitu usiku unajikuta unakubali kila kitu anakuambia mm. kwa hivyo labda mke wake yeah. alimshawishi usiku anamsika shika hivi alafu anakuambia si una enzi za kina Samson ni Samson ile uh, eh yeah. afa anakuambia promise na Delila Promise me you will shave. Hapo yeah. umeshuka shuka tu devu hivi. Ume... you know baby. Nakubali. <laughs> <laughs> Lakini honestly whatever the reason I shave I think it looks very very yeah, good. Yeah yeah right so now. maintain yeah. with that hairstyle. Your so short ego fit sana. Mm. Pia uh, utakuwa na represent vizuri yeah. the kingdom of Christ kwenye gospel music.